Uh, good morning and thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Michelle Cook. I am joined by Assistant Special Agent in Charge Jim Phillips of the Homeland Security Investigations and Assistant Special Agent in Charge Mike Dubet of the Drug Enforcement Administration. We're here today to talk about a case that is an example of our federal local partnership and the results of that great work in a particular narcotics investigation. This investigation began with two border seizures of mescaline by Homeland Security Investigations. Mescaline is a Schedule I narcotic with hallucinogenic effects. The Clay County Sheriff's Office serves on a task force with Homeland Security Investigations, and we became involved when it was discovered that the intercepted shipments were scheduled for delivery to a residence on Deer Springs Road in Keystone Heights. On March 19th, our detectives went to that home as a part of the investigation. While they were there, they discovered a DMT extraction lab inside a shed on the property. DMT is a hallucinogenic drug similar to LSD, and this lab was used to produce the drug. Dimethyltryptamine, or DMT labs, are very rare and dangerous. They can be dangerous to those who are producing the drug, the community, and for our investigating officers and detectives. Detectives also found chemicals that can be used to create other psychedelic drugs, five guns, 2,000 rounds of ammunition, and objects and chemicals that could be used to build destructive or explosive devices. As a result of this investigation, our members arrested Cody Michael Clifford, He's facing multiple felony and misdemeanor charges, including possession of LSD, felony possession of marijuana, possession of hashish, and cultivation of marijuana. We also found numerous other substances that we have sent off for testing, so more charges could be pending. Our detectives, agents from Homeland Security Investigations, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and explosives work together to investigate this laboratory and clean up the hazardous chemicals that were located. This case is an example of the strong relationship that we have with our federal partners. By working together, we are able to concentrate additional resources and expertise to better serve the residents of Clay County. I'm proud of the work of the men and women of CCSO that they do every day, and I'm grateful for, to our federal partners who worked on this case. With that being said, uh, is there any questions? Sheriff, can you say the layout of this land? Was this in a, a subdivision or was it in a rural area? Like, were a lot of people nearby who could have been harmed if something had happened? Uh, from the photos I've seen, Scott, it looks uh, rural, like a larger um, yard, larger neighborhood, and, and some of the pictures um, are scrolling on, on the uh, screen here for you. Can you kind of describe, like, the, the environment that you guys walked into, maybe, like, if there was any danger presented to You know, I think any time you walk into a clandestine lab that's making drugs and explosive, explosives, there's a danger. There's a, a, a big danger there. We're very fortunate that nobody was hurt uh, uh, before we got there, and, and the, the responders that were there were very fortunate that nobody was hurt. Do you have any knowledge of what he was going to do with the explosives? Did he have intent on lighting up a bomb somewhere? We don't have uh, that answer yet, Scott. We're still looking into all of that. And can you describe the bomb-making material? real dangerous stuff as far as obviously bomb making materials are dangerous but can you give us some sort of scope on what this was sure um you guys want to speak to that or uh, you want to speak uh, to that? I, I can yeah absolutely uh, so so what i believe it is is um homemade hand grenades and we don't have any idea what he wanted to do with them his intent is unknown at this point. And was it uh, all like just homemade like materials that he gathered up basically to create everything? Or was it like too much? Can you kind of describe some of the, the stuff that you guys used in that, in that sense? Um, so it was steel cylinders. He had the wicks. He had um, gunpowder. Um, so it was it was material that he was preparing to to make explosive devices with. And Sheriff, was he alone in this? I mean, did the other people live there? Can you describe to us the, 
who that this property is it just him by himself I understand there were uh, some children there who've uh, since been removed by DCF were they ever harmed by this that we know of not not that we know of at this time Scott no sir and what date did this happen this happened on you guys got the date okay. March 19th March and 19th. Was he selling these drugs to the Keystone Heights community, or who's, who are these drugs going to? Do we know at this point? You know, that, that is still all under investigation. Uh, we do have, uh, I mean, it was our narcotics team that initially responded there. So we are looking at that angle to see who, uh, if and who he was selling to in Keystone. Yes, and sir. Was this a major, I mean, this stuff's coming in from all over. A EMT lab sounds like a big deal as far as the drug trade goes. Keystone Heights is kind of out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, was this kind of a danger to that part of the county? I, again, you know, anytime somebody's got a lab and they're making drugs and or explosive, that's dangerous. I mean, it, it's inherently dangerous. Uh, and I just, you know, this case and, and, and these partnerships just reaffirm our commitment to, you know, clean up Clay County, clean up Keystone. Had he had problems before that we know of? Were you guys aware of this man? Not that I'm aware of. Um, I, I don't believe he was necessarily real high up on our radar. No, sir. Can you describe again kind of how you were tipped off to this activity that was going on out there? Sure. So DHS, um, we were contacted because of the uh, interception of the mescaline that was coming in. So uh, our partners notified us, and then our narcotics unit went out there to start the investigation. Okay, for Homeland what tipped you off? What, what made you realize that this shipment from Corrine was, uh, was illegal drug? Well, as, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, as customs officers, uh, Homeland Security Investigations agents uh, work to intercept uh, illegal narcotics coming in from all international destinations. Uh, and without getting any, into any spe uh, particular method or, uh, you know, methodology, we, we, we have certain triggers and uh, targeting that we do to identify packages, not just, as well as, you know, history of receiving other shipments. Sir, I admit that. Did you say the origin country was Peru? I cannot verify that. I, I mean, I can verify that, but I do not know that right now. Okay. Yeah. That'll be all the questions we have for today. I'm going to send out all this